Hi, I'm Jeff Bartles, Infrastructure Technical Specialist at Autodesk, and today we will be continuing our series where we are looking at some of the newer features and productivity pack tools available in Civil 3D 2016. In this session, we'll explore the Autodesk Civil Engineering Data Translator. Now I've got a drawing open on my screen. This is a sample file that contains some project data. Let's take a look. I'm going to hover over this contour. We can see this is a tin surface called EG. I've also got a proposed center line alignment called Main Street. If I pan this over to the profile view, we can see that my alignment has a couple of profiles associated with it. One's called Main Street FG for finished ground, and I've got one called Main Street EG for existing ground. I have one more project data item in here. I've created a corridor, and that corridor has a top surface associated with it. The surface is called Main Street Top. Let me zoom out and I'll center this drawing on screen. Let's assume that I need to export this project data such that it can be leveraged by a Geopack user. To do that, I will use the Civil Engineering Data Translator. I can find that tool on the Toolbox tab of the tool space. From here, I will click to expand the Civil 3D 2016 Productivity Pack 1 group. Right here, I will find the Autodesk Civil Engineering Data Translator. Notice that we can use this tool to export Civil 3D data into native Bentley file formats, specifically GeoPack and Inroads. To export this drawing to GeoPack, I'm going to start by closing it, because you cannot export a drawing that's open. I will then come back to the tool space and double click to launch the Export to GeoPack tool. Since this is a cloud-based service, I need to log into my A360 account. I'll enter my username and my password credentials and I'll sign in. I will then navigate to the folder on my hard drive containing the file that I want to export project data from. I'll select that drawing and I'll click open. This will upload the drawing to the cloud where it will be processed. If I'd like to review the progress of the translation, I can come over and double click to open the job monitor. From here, I can see any jobs I have running. I can see the type of job, I can see its status, as well as the submit and update time. When the translation is complete, I will be given a download link where I can download the GeoPack data to my local machine. In this case, I'm going to save the data in my project inside a folder called Converted Data within a folder here called GeoPack. Note that if I want to, I can re-download this file. It will remain in the job monitor for approximately three days. Since this entry represents cloud-based storage, if I want to, I could delete it at any time by clicking this red X. To view the translated data, I'll click this folder icon to jump to the folder where we saved the content. In here, I'll find a tin file representing my existing ground surface. Here's a tin file for my Main Street top surface. And then I've got a GPK file that contains my alignment and profiles. Note there is also a Microsoft Excel document. We can use this to review the conversion. I'm going to double click to open the file. In here, I can see an entry for the alignments, profiles, let me drag this down, points, surfaces, and parcels. I can also see a one-to-one -one comparison of the items before and after conversion. If I drag this down, it will also highlight any items that I may want to review. That being said, if you create a conversion using this tool and you don't get what you expect, please log a support ticket so development is aware of the issue. One more thing, if you would like to help drive development of tools like this, launch your web browser, and you can go to forums.autodesk.com. From here, you can click the Ideas button. You can then select the product that you're interested in. In this case, I'll choose Civil 3D. From here, you can review any of the ideas that have been submitted by the Civil 3D community. Likewise, you can click this button to submit your own idea. Using this application, the worldwide community of Civil 3D users can help drive development of the application. I'm going to close the web browser. We'll close Microsoft Excel, I'll close Windows Explorer, and the Job Monitor, and we'll return to Civil 3D. Just for a second, let's come back over to the toolbox. Notice we can use the Data Translator to go the other way. I can convert native Bentley file formats into Civil 3D drawings. Let's use the Import Geopack tool to round trip some of the data that we just created. Once again, I'll go into the Converted Data folder. Let's go into the Geopack directory and I'll select the Job 100 GPK file. This is the file that contains my alignment and profiles. I'll click Open. I will then select my unit type. I'm going to type I for Imperial and press Enter. Once again, this will upload the data to the cloud where it can be processed. To check the progress of the translation, 
I'll open the job monitor. From here I can see the new job. Now since this is a job where we're converting from Geopack to Civil 3D, you can see this is going to be a two-stage process. That's because there's multiple items in this GPK file. I've got an alignments and a couple profiles. Stage 1, the translation tool will identify all of the data that's in this GPK. Once stage 1 is complete, I can then use this hyperlink to configure any necessary mapping. In this case, I will select both of my Main Street profiles and I will select the parent alignment and I'll click Add to associate those profiles to that alignment. When I'm finished, I'll click OK. The translation then continues on to stage two for final processing. When everything is completed, I can use this hyperlink to download the Civil 3D drawing containing that Geopack project data to my local machine. Once again, I'll save this in my project in the converted data folder. I'll place this in the Civil 3D directory and I'll click OK. Finally, we'll click the X to close the job monitor, and then I'll come up and launch the open command, and we'll select that drawing. Inside converted data, Civil 3D, I'll select job 100, and I'll click open. If I zoom in, we can hover over this alignment. This is my Main Street alignment. Just for a second, we'll go to the Prospector tab. We'll expand the alignments group. I'll expand centerline alignments, Main Street, and in here we can see the two associated profiles, Main Street EG and FG. When it comes down to it, the more stakeholders you have involved in a project, the greater chance you have of encountering multiple CAD platforms. Using the Civil Engineering Data Translator is one way to make it easier to exchange project data with everyone on the design team. Would you like to explore more Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.